here. Um, John is waiting for you. <laughs> um, He's waiting. Yeah, I, I think that's really about all there is to it. Um, that's pretty much my part. Uh, again, I'll come back uh, at the end of the webinar and do the Q&A with, with uh, Mark as well. Uh, Mark, do you have anything you want to add there? Or should you just want to take it away? I am good. I can all just, right. I'm ready to get it started then. Look at you. <laughs> all right. Well, let's, uh, let's hand the reins over to Mark then, and he'll uh, do the webinar today or the live demo today for you guys. And I'll come back in a moment here and do the Q&A uh, a little bit later. Take away, Mark. Thank you. Let me first change my name. Mark Diaz. There you go. All righty. So I'm going to share my screen really quick. Let's see, just. Okay, can you see? Yes, yep. everything good? All good, yeah. Okay, so before I start, before I start, I can, there, someone said no sound. Can you hear me, Kai? Maybe it's on their end. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. I, I, sorry, I can hear you fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> My I read your well. lips. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> perfect. Uh, before I start, I want to talk a little bit of, of a topic that is incredibly important because this session is called Speed Up Your Animation Production. Speed Up. Why do we want to speed up? Because anyone who's interested in speeding up things is because we definitely value this thing called time, right? We don't like to squander it, like just get to the point let's 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 save time that's what we want right so i want you first before we start and before i start with the class when i give a webinar or something i like my students to have results at the end of the, the webinar you have a thing that you did like i did this right when you have that then you get motivated to try other things, right? Maybe you can try this software or maybe you are inspired and you go and try something else. That's totally cool. What I want is for you to spark that thing, the creative part and start creating stuff. Because if we are here together, we are creatives. And that is incredibly beautiful, right? Especially in times, in dark times, artists uh, across history, artists would, would raise the morale of people. So I think it's, we have a huge responsibility in our hands in like right now, times of war. If we can raise something with art, oh, I think it's incredibly powerful in our hands. We are creators. So before we start, there's, there's this quote by Benjamin Franklin. Tell me and I'll forget, right? Show me and I might remember. Involve me. And now I learn, right? So those of you right now who get involved, who practice this with me, you guys are going to get results from today and you're going to learn something. So I want to invite you guys to download the, if you don't have Cartoon Animator uh, 4 installed, download it right now. I'm going to put the, the direct link again, right? Here's, here's the link. Right, then let me share my screen and go here. So you just go here, you can download it. And while I take the first five to 10 minutes explaining uh, a little bit of the importance of time and the important, the, like the thinking that goes behind speeding up stuff, you can be installing this. So by the time we start, we are ready. So it, that's one thing. And the other one, I just put that in the chat. The other thing is you can download the project files so you follow up with me, right? I just posted that link in the chat. You can find it is this link, right? For those of you watching the like uh, a replay of this, maybe these two links can be added below, below this video. And in here, you're gonna find this. You just click download 
And then it says like, oh, it can scan for viruses. I can promise you this is uh, an open disclaimer for me. It, I, uh, I was the one who made this file, so it doesn't contain anything. You can download it and check for viruses, etc. And in there, you're going to find these files. All right. So download this, download Cartoon Animator, download the free trial. So by the time I finish explaining the theory, you should be ready to go and follow up with me. That way, you are actually going to learn something and not waste the time. You're going to sit down here. And if you don't follow up, you're basically going to waste us time. Right? I don't want that to happen to you. Okay. So do that. Uh, which link for the project files? Uh, Mark. Uh, I like your name, Mark. It's, it's right there. Like it, I posted two links. One says relunshot.com and the other is on Google Drive, right? So yeah, project files. And yes, and you, yes, thank you so much. They, they just posted the link again. Thank you. Okay, so while you download that, I want to ask here people, I like this to be a little bit interactive. And so time, when I talk about time, there's two things that you can do when you want to create something. You have to invest one of two things. You can invest a lot of time, right? And then save yourself some money, right? Or you can in, invest money and then save some time, right? One of those two, you have to do one of the two. Like it's, it's like alchemy. You have to give something to get something, right? The first link was only sent to panelists. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was, oh, that was me, Mark. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, to, like, yeah. Host and Let, panelists only, so nobody so, else yeah, would see if you Ah, that. okay. It was my, <laughs> ah, my bad. There Thank you, you so much. Yeah. All righty. So here, here are the links again. That's for the trial. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> And I've done that all the time. No worries. <laughs> all righty. There you, there you are. Like, what? which link? I send it privately to the panel. Okay. Now we... Okay. Thank you so much. That's the great thing about a team, right? When someone messes up, ah, another one comes to the rescue. Arigato, Kai-sensei. So the thing is, you, want, you have to invest one of the two. If you can choose... Which one do you prefer to invest? Because I know a lot of people get angry when they are asked to invest money because they, they, they have all the time in the world, but they don't have money and they get angry. And some other people get angry when they are asked to, oh, you have to sit down and actually do it. Like, what? I have to sit down, right? Like, I, I want things to be done. And now there's other people who are just, who want to like i have to sit down and spend money ah, that, that's the most unfair situation i don't recommend those but usually you just have to invest one of the two right i personally prefer to save time and let me tell you why not not a, this is not for everybody but i can tell you why from my side because if i invest money I can make my money back, right? I, if I invest $100, I can go work and then get $100 again. But this is the thing. Time, because you cannot travel to, through time, you cannot go to the past. Whatever time you spend, you can never, ever get it back. Uh, this is especially true. When you're young, you think, yeah, I'm going to live forever. What are you talking about? <laughs> but if you are in your 40s, after your 30s, you're kind of realizing like, holy smokes. My, like, what, ha what have I done with my life? What, <laughs> something that, that happens, like, my years are never coming. I'm never gonna be young again, ever. <gasps> I better start taking care of my diet or something, right? And it, 
we it dawns on us that holy smokes, it's true. I can never get my never ever in my life can I get my time back. So I have noticed in my I have students of all ages, students who are very young, they're like, what, what do I need to say? Yeah, a, a project is going to take a hundred hours. Sure, let, throw it on. Someone who is about 30 or 40, they say like a hundred hours, let me try something else. This is, this is not going to work for me. I, I, don't, I cannot live forever, right? And so my point on these two is this is exactly the reason why I... We in, in Revolution talked about, we need to talk about speeding up stuff, saving time, because it's a precious research resource that we cannot waste. We can never get it back. Whatever time we invest, I can never get all the years that I have lived. I can never get it back. So why speeding up? Speeding up. saves time that's what we are going to talk today so just to make my point on this i asked a71 there all righty vicky and andrew awesome i'm i'm around my 40s and so i for me like time is incredibly precious to me right and so I have a, a, one of my friends, uh, he's one of my students, but he's also one of my friends and we became friends. And then he's, he created a, like an environment and I was like, how much time did it take you to create that environment? Like it was like two, three months. Right? And I was like, two, three months. And I thought, oh my God, if I want to create something like that, two, three months, how many, how many hours did you dedicate uh, daily? Oh, like five to six hours, five to six hours. And I mean, the end result was really good. He did all of it for free. He went to Blender because in Blender, you can uh, create all the beautiful things. Really cool. So three months. And I was like, three months, five. Okay, I can invest. If I wanted to do this, I can invest like half an hour a day, an hour a day, if I'm incredibly optimistic. <laughs> so for me, it's going to take almost a year. I, no, thank you. What did I do? It was a neighborhood. I needed a neighborhood for an animated project. And instead of putting two months, you want to know how much I put? I put five minutes. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Let me actually show you what I got for those five minutes. I got this. This is for an animation. It's going to be 2D animation, but I need one background that is created once, and then I can just set different angles, and then I take a snapshot and do some uh, filters to make it look as if it was kind of a cartoon, right? I mean, in here you have some, but I like it, like see, kind of a painterly look, right? So it looks like a painting, and it's pretty cool how all of this was created in five minutes because why? How, Mark, what's the secret? Well, I went to a place called a marketplace, which is right here. Let me just open it. And in that marketplace, I just went for city, right? And I, this is an asset that I bought for another software that, that's not Cartoon Animator. I'm just setting a point. It was like a uh, city. City neighborhood, I believe. And then in there, I just found one that I liked. And look, at it was this one. So this is the equivalent to $30. So it was five minutes and $30. Totally worth it for me, right? Totally worth it. So I got everything done for me. That saved me a lot of time. And you know what? Like three months worth, <laughs> I'm like, it it's way too expensive because my time, time is money. I do believe that time is money. And so I saved a, a ton of time. And now I want to share with you how you can save a ton of time when you're using you. Oh, I, I guess a ton of you 
are using After Effects for animation, right? And I still, I, I use it, After Effects, I think it's amazing. Can you type yes in, in the chat if you use After Effects for animation? Just type it, okay. Yes, we have, uh, not really, Dylan, okay. We have Hussein, Hussein Mark, yes, yes. Awang, Veronica, yes, yes, Swinger. Giovanni, Giovanni, you don't use it, Eric. Just straight up cartoon animator, all right? Joe Fabrizio, yes. Hank, yay. So a lot of you use After Effects. All right. Just turning a school of motion course. Uh, a school of motion course. Yes, those guys are really good. Don't have full Photoshop. So a lot of you use After Effects, right? Okay. I'm going to tell you why I stopped. And also type uh, this. I'm, I'm going to put a separator in here. And now type yes to my next question. Do you have you used have you used Duik? Right. Just type yes if you. I have. I used. Uh, I used Duik in the past. Okay. A lot of you. Oh, a lot of you don't know Duik. Okay. In After Effects, that was a uh, plugin that is free, right? It's totally free. And as uh, some of you like, yes, Duik, After Effects, uh, like, okay, I'll, only two of you already. Duik is a plugin that allows you to rig characters fast in, in After Effects. Well, I'm gonna tell you why I stopped using it <laughs> and switch to Cartoon Animator because Cartoon Animator helped me solve in seconds, right? It took me sec literally, not minutes, seconds to create an animation that with Duik and all the speeding stuff, the stuff to speed up my animation, the best thing I, I purchased plugins, etc., in After Effects, and it would take me hours. So from hours to seconds, does that sound like a good deal <laughs> for me? That like, oh yes, please. Because honestly, I can, if something takes me without that, if something takes me three hours and I have another option where I can get it in like, let's say 20 seconds, right? I'm basically left over, like I still have those three hours that I'm gonna sit down and do the project. I can just do that, that same thing in 20 seconds <laughs> and then watch a movie if I want, or spend more time with my family. Or if I have nothing else to do, there's everybody's on vacation and I'm here like, uh, or I'm an introvert or whatever, I can invest those three hours doing something else that is going to increase the quality of the project even more. However you look at it, more time to do something, it's always a blessing. So, I want to show something, an animation, right? You don't, uh, for this tutorial, uh, for following up, you don't need After Effects installed, you, but you're gonna need the uh, trial of Cartoon Animator. So by now, who here has downloaded and has Cartoon Animator installed? Just type yes in here really quick. Yes, yes, okay, a couple of you, yes, I do. All righty, so we have a couple of you ready. I love it, see, si, Giovanni, all righty. Yes, 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 perfect, awesome. Okay, and who here has the project files ready? I like to do this interactive. Also, by the way, do you guys feel like more awake? Like, oh, I have to type things when he asks. <laughs> I do. Just a beautiful wake. All righty, not yet. Ready? Some of you are ready. Some of you, if not, let me post. I'm going to post that link again. I have it saved here. Boop. I'm just put it to everyone. I'm making sure. All righty. Ready. All righty. Oh, I love that happy face, Sovereign. Ready. Got him. All righty. So we are ready. I'm going to now go to After Effects and for those of you who have experience animating in After Effects, those of you who already have used Cartoon Animator, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, right? 
But I mean, I kind of spoil it in Sailor Moon. Take second, like I should have saved it for a little while. But here's a question. This is After Effects. You can see that I have a couple of assets in here, right? I have this separated, and then I have this background separated, like different layers. And then I have a character. Let me just play this. How much time would that take to animate in After Effects? Like I have this character and I'm using whatever I'm using, right? It's, it's not drawings, it's a rig. So I would have bones. In Duik, you have bones and then you can move it, right? So getting all the smoothness, like that precision in character animate, like having it this clean because it, it's very pristine, like, wow, it's... So how anyone with experience in character animation, how much time do you think that would take? I can tell you, just type it in the chat. I can tell you, it, for me, it would take, I would say two, three hours. It would do it, right? Two, three hours. Okay, Scott, you agree with me? I think we have probably the same experience. Two, three hours, really nice. I mean, after, after having it uh, rigging, uh, Two, three days, UD Chapman, yes. And I mean, quality has a cost, right? You have to sit down for days and tweaking, and then you hit play, and then, oh, it doesn't work. You go back, you fix the elbow, and ah, now I made it worse. I have to undo, right? And it takes so much time because it's a lot of trial and error, right? Now, what if I told you that I can animate this in front of you in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> For those of you who already have Cartoon Animator, you already know the trick. It's, it's not magic, it's math. And it's, it, it's possible. Uh, Dylan, yeah, you use Cartoon Animator, you know the trick. But shh, don't spoil it, don't spoil it. But yeah, I'm going to do that right now in front of you. And not only that, I'm going to have first i'm gonna do it and then you are going to do it with the project files all right that's the exciting part if i do it you go ah but if you do it you look oh it's mine <laughs> i have the power now that's what i want you to feel i want you to feel the power of speed uh if doik is like a really nice like uh, the fastest horse ever and you're competing in a race Cartoon animator like a Ferrari. Like you see the pff, a horse, zoom, you go super, super fast. So let's go to here. And I'm going to ask you to, I have a, a ton of resources in there, but right now I want you to go to folder number four, then open it and then open this that says red jump start. This is the beginning of the thing. You just click and drag, and then it should open, right? And it has everything ready. Like from this stage to the final animation, we are two to two to three hours. Uh, Scott, you have the same experience of me as me. So yeah, it would take around two to three hours. Or Judy, from this stage, you would be like two to three days away from doing that, right? Now I'm going to do that animation right now in front of you in a couple of seconds. I'm just going to move, I'm going to explain how to do this uh, step by step, but for now I'm gonna do the demonstration. I'm gonna show you how you navigate, etc. I'm pressing Alt and then click and drag, right? And then I'm going to go to, to this tab. Let me close everything. Uh, when you open, probably you have these tabs on the right, and then I go to where it says content manager. And then in content manager, I'm going to be pointing to stuff. So you can see like, this is the content manager. You click there and then you go to where it says animation, right? And then in animation, you have a couple of options in here, right? I'm gonna double click where it says motion and then double click on human and then double click on Turner's female and then go to side. And I can have a list of stuff that I can make my character do. From this list, 
you can find one that says run fast. This one, let me just, I'm going to use these three. We have run fast. The S means start. The second means loop and then end. This is because I can get this character to start running and then run for a long time, like a lot of loops. And then at some point I add this clip to end the run, right? So I'm, look at this. I just, I'm gonna start the timer right now. Let's see if, if, if I'm telling the truth. I'm going to put this here, right? I'm, I have this timer in another screen. So I'm going to just put it here. Okay, so it started and now I'm going to take run fast, click and drag. Oh my God, I just take the loop, click and drag, and then run fast and click and drag. She stopped this, right? Now you have another thing in here. Where is it? Ah, oh, did I delete it? Wait, ah, yes, this one. Red jump motion, you should have this too. And this is a motion that you can just click and drag. I animated this for you. Zoop, and now she jumps, right? So look at this. Now I have an animation. Uh, how much time did it took? Less than a minute. And I was slow because I was explaining. It's insane. Did you guys feel the speed? Did, do, you, do you guys see like, oh my God. I can do animations and spend time with my family, <gasps> right? I can be like, I can be doing animation or if you're an introvert and have time to play video games. Like you have so much, I, now I have like, uh, if I'm UD, I'm like, oh my God, I have like many days, uh, like I have still two days to spare, right? Let me play it. So she runs and then stops and then does the jump. Now, there's one problem in here that we just need to fix really quick. From frame 78 to frame 79, there's this switch, like from here to pick. I don't like that. Don't worry, I can fix it. I can click on this character. And then, uh, by the way, this right now, all of this feels like, if there's a new software, whenever you, I'm, I'm gonna go back to the camera. When you come back, to a new software and you never opened Cartoon Animator, it can be intimidating. Any new software, you just do a lot of control, like, oh my God, I feel like I'm in an airplane. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I want to tell you that, uh, where do you dump the project files? Uh, let me give you the link again, Bob, right here. You can download from there. In here, uh, later, I'm going to go a little bit super slow with all of you, right? Actually, I, let me just finish this explanation really quick and then we do it together, all right? I have the link, but where do I put for Cartoon Animator? Or what do you mean, Bob? Right? Like I want to guide you right now. Yes, for Cartoon Animator, do you have it installed? Yes, you have it installed? All righty. Then the f when you go to this folder, the project files is the folder Cartoon Animator 4, this one. And then you open it, and then you get this that says Red Jump Start. This is the one, all right? And that is opens this file. Actually, I don't want to mess with this. Let me just type live, yes, because this is going to be, so I don't mess with the, the the start file. Oh, I'm not sharing. Let me share my screen. And I need to let my dog out really quick. Let me just let her out because she's going to start barking. One second. Okay. Now, all I have to do is create this there uh, let, let me go slower a little bit i select this character and then i didn't have this thing the timeline so i click on the character and by the way all of you are going to get the replay of this so later you can go slower at this and then click on this thing the timeline or press f3 right 
Let me show what I'm pressing. And then you click on where it says motion. And if you have the character selected, let me just put the things that I have selected. I have the character selected. I have this button selected, right? This, make sure is active. And then I have motion. Those three, three things, the character, this thing, and motion in the timeline. If you don't see the timeline, you need to press in here. And then that brings the timeline. So with that, I can see all my motion clips in here. And what I want to do is start to doing like a crossover over of this to look it, from here, it jumps to book. So what I do is I take this, the red jump, and I'm gonna drag it back a little bit, right? Let's say on this, on frame 72. And then I'm going to put my mouse in here. Let me just point exactly where, right there. I'm going to do a zoom in in here, just so you can, you guys can see, like right here. You can see how my cursor switches to here. So I'm just gonna do that and then extend that a little bit. You you don't see too much things happening in in there, but look. Right now, it's doing a transition between this clip, stopping, and they look whoa, instead of that jump. Let me undo so you can see the difference. It, it would do this, and the puck, that tick, tick. I didn't want that. I wanted a transition. And to do that transition, I'm going to do it again right here. I have that and then extend it a little bit. It's not showing anything, but it did a transition in here. And now look, whoops, ah, beautiful, right? And with that, now I have a character that has all the motions ready, right? And now, of course, this, all those movements would take me two to three hours. I just saved myself two to three hours. Or if, if you struggle a little bit more, I just saved myself two to three days. I have a question I want you to answer in the chat. Is this like clicking and dragging clips? Is it easy? Can, can all of you click and drag one thing from one place to another? Anyone? Because, because I think it's, yes, we have, yes. Yuri, yes, you can do that. Vicky, yes, it's so easy, right? You just click and drag. I love it. I have uh, Scott. Yes, even me. <laughs> yeah, with a smile on my face. I love the energy in here, guys. I love it. Yes, it's so easy. Now, this is the thing where I get so excited. It's, it's like, I feel like we are, we were all cavemen, like, oh, and we see a car for the first time, and you just press the, like, the pedal. And, Whoa, my God, it's amazing, right? Now, hopefully, what Revolution is trying to do with all, all the team of engineers, all the, or the developments, those guys are incredibly cool. I have, uh, I have had meetings with them like, uh, to, to learn from them. And I'm, where I'm the student right now, you're the student, but I'm the student there and I'm learning so much. And I'm like, I love how these guys are trying to make everything so easy for the end user. Because... When I thought, when I, when I thought like, I need to do animation, oh, I need to take like years. I need to sit down for years. And then Revolution tells you, no, 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 no. You, you can just click and drag <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, having a problem with loading the jump to Cartoon Animator 4. Oh, that's, uh, that, that's actually a, a thing in there. Uh, Hassan, Hassanain, Hassanain having problem, let me try it. I'm going to go back again. I'm going to save this project right now. Start live, just so I, I don't mess anything up. And I'm going to start on a new project, which by the way, this character, I didn't invest any time creating that character. Honestly, I just took it from here. Like it's right here. I just took this character, red, boom. I took her and then there it is, right? So 
if you're struggling, you need to be able to take this, the red jump, is the clip that I did an animation for you guys. And then you just click and drag from Finder or Windows Explorer to Cartoon Animator 4, right? And then I release. Now, if my screen or if, my, if I'm struggling with the screens, let me undo. If I'm struggling with the screens, I can also do this. In Windows, you press Alt-Tab to switch from one window to another. If you are on Mac, you would press Command tab, right? And then I just do this and then Command tab or Alt tab. And I'm still holding the click. I'm still holding the click and then I drop it there, right? So hopefully with that, okay, apparently with that, we solved it. Awesome. I'm going to go back to this and not save it. Awesome. Okay. We still have like 20 minutes before the Q&A. So far, are we enjoying this? Can you see how Cartoon Animator feel like a Ferrari <laughs> for Cartoon Animator? Like it really, it really feels like speeding up, right? Uh, Peter, yes. Okay, we have uh, a couple of people here saying yes. So I now hit play. And now all I have to do is, yeah, everything is cool, Mark, but... This is, this is insane, like she's staying in the same place. How do I make her move from one place to another and then jump away, right? Because what I showed you here, like, wait a minute, Mark, this is not a, this. This is not the character running and then jumping away. Like she's staying in the same place. Well, that's the fun part. Now I get, let me, uh, let me go slower. Now I'm going to click this section right here, that little square to open the timeline. I click there. I click on the character, right? And then I clicked on the character and because I have this thing selected is the second item, is the object related track. Now I'm showing in the timeline, all the, the, the like the timeline and stuff for this character, right? So this is the character red. From here, I'm going to click where it says transform. I click on transform. And now I can start animating. Look, I'm, I'm just going to do something really, really nonsensical, like from there to here, right? Just so to give you an illustration, now you can see that this is moving from one side to another, which actually looks funny. <sighs> okay, but we don't want that. Now, what I'm going to do is give her, I want her to be outside of the screen, right? So what I'm going to do in here is take her and just bring her back a little bit. I'm going to bring her back, but when I'm dragging, I can be going up and down and I don't want to go up and down. So I'm gonna hold shift and that constrains the movement. I can go up and down and she cannot go up and down. She's, it's constraining the movement. And I'm gonna put her around here. If, if you want like pre precise number, you can copy this, uh, like it's the number. If you want to, oh, I want the exact results that Mark is getting, get something close to that. It doesn't have to be exactly that. It can be around four, minus four or five. Like it could be even, let me, it could be even like 450, something around there, right? Around minus 450. And then from there, she, right there, she's not moving, right? So she starts running on, frame let's say frame 15 look i'm paying attention to her feet like right here when she starts moving right she right there like just before she launches to run i will i would say is this frame frame 15 you can manually type it here like i can type one and enter or i can type 15 right you can type it there and then i want to keep that position in there so in the timeline, I was in the workspace. Now I go to the timeline. I'm just gonna double click wherever I have the cursor, right? So I have the cursor there, double click. And you can see that I just added a little, I added the, this keyframe, right? Now we have these two keyframes. I'm holding her position from here to here, right? Okay, let me zoom out. By the way, uh, this is a new thing that I'm doing. Can you let me know in the chat 
if this is useful when I do zoom in and zoom out, so you don't have to just type it, type yes, if it were, if this is, or should I stop doing it? Okay, apparently it's, it's useful already. Perfect. So absolutely. All righty, thank you. Guys, I love the energy here. I love it. So now I'm going to go to frame where a frame where she stops running. So I'm going to look for a moment where she stops running and it's going to be, I would say, uh, like maybe she's still running in here. Let's pick, if you want to be very precise, it can be frame 56, right? So in that frame, she's gonna move like, oh, by the way, I haven't uh, teach you this. When you hold Alt and then click, you can move the camera like this, right? And if you alt and then both clicks, you can zoom in and out, right? This is a cool tip, alt and then click and then alt both clicks. Now, if, if you are on a laptop and you don't have that versatility and you're using maybe a, a mouse pad or a trackpad, I mean, then you can use these tools up here. Like I can, let me zoom in. On the top, you can see these tools. Oops, uh, wait, 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 not too close. You can use these tools. Actually, not, not this one, not, not this one, these tools, these three. This is to go like zoom in and zoom out and then move to the sides. And the, we're not gonna be using this either. We're just going to use these two, right? For those of you who don't have it. So I can just press this and then move. And then when I want to go back, I just need to press this one, right? To go back to my default, right? So once you set everything up, but if you can just press Alt and then click or Alt and both clicks. Now, let me continue. I'm going to pay attention to this. And let's say that, oops, let's say that I move her, I'm holding Shift all the way to this end, right? And then she jumps away maybe to a building that we don't see. That is okay, right? I'm zooming out, Alt, and then both clicks, and then Alt, click and drag. That is okay, right? And then I play it, and now we have a character running from one side to another. Really nice. But for my taste, I don't want her to be so far in here because the camera is going to end. All the time, this is the plan that I have. The camera is going to be moving like this the entire time. So when she jumps, I don't want her to, to stop there and then be jumping and be out of the screen. So I'm gonna put this, this is going to be kind of the end shot. And I want her to be a little bit more inside, right? So I want her to be around, let's say, what, what would it be? Like maybe around here. If you want to be precise, like I, you want the exact results that I'm having, you can use 96 in the X, right? You can just pay attention to these numbers on the top, right? To, and that way you can have the exact same result that I'm, that I'm having, right? So in this case, I'm going to use that 96. Let, let me first see how the run is looking. I'm gonna zoom out with Alt, the, uh, both clicks. And let's see if this, is this working for me? Yeah, it's okay. So from here, Really nice. Now we have those two. And now I'm going to move to where she starts. Like there's something in here between the transition where she's about to jump. You can see that the, the feet right there, she's running. I actually purposely had her run in like this line right here, right? And you can see that I use that as a guide because in here she starts going down, look, there's a, a mistake that I don't like. She starts going down and then boop, she goes back. It's just the transition between the, the two clips, the one that I created for you of the character jumping and her, like the previous clips. So this is not good, but I'm, we're going to fix it later. For now, I'm going to go to frame, I would say around, let's say here. I think in there it's properly fixed. It, it would be frame 73, right? Let me zoom in for you guys to see. 73, right? 
So on frame 73, I'm going to add a keyframe. And by the way, I, I kind of like, I can double click, right? In the timeline, you just double click. And then once you have that, I'm going to, from there is, she's going to jump. Later, I'm going to fix this, right? This area. If I look at the timeline, there's a mess in here that we're going to fix later. For now, let's not worry about it. Let me just have her run. And there's also a thing. Look, this, to me, I'm going to tell you what I see. I can see that I'm, I'm going to, we have uh, still 10 minutes. I think that she's doing this when she stops, but this is wrong. Whoop, like have it. She's not Michael Jackson, right? She's not. Dun, dun, dun. No, no. What I want is to have that foot in there and that the other foot does this, right? So from here, I want to create this effect from there to here and not this. Like this is sliding and I want to be stepping like this, right? Hopefully this makes sense. <laughs> Let me know if this explanation made sense. Uh, let me know in the chat, a little bit of feedback. Much appreciated. And so what I'm going to do is focus. Okay, back to, yeah, already. What I'm going to do is focus on this foot right here and try to bring this one, which is this frame, frame 73, and bring it forward to that position. Now, one trick that I do is that I, uh, we don't have rulers in, in Cartoon Animator, but I do have this corner of the camera. So I'm going to put her feet right there in that corner, right? Actually, this one, like this one, right? And this foot has to come in to this corner. Like you can see this foot. Let me position it right, oh, wait, oh, wait, sorry. I select the character again, then go to this keyframe, keyframe 56, and then put that in the corner. Let me show you, this is where I'm putting it, right? That's what I'm trying to do. Actually, let me move the camera a little bit. I'm pressing Alt, Alt. I'm not moving the character, I'm moving the, the whole camera. Okay, it feels like, like in this corner right there right now let me zoom out and then in here i want that foot again around there oh no sorry not, i i i messed it up <laughs> i i needed to move the character like from here to here and then i move the character there right so now this would give me a little bit of this illusion that she's stepping towards that position, right? So she's like that. Later, we're going to fix the up and down thing, but for now, we are okay, right? If you want something very precise, it would be, well, maybe maybe push, it, push her a little bit forward. Maybe she's kind of sliding at, at the end. So let me see how, how this works. Just moved her a little bit forward. Yeah, this feels a little bit more natural. Yes. Kind of, kind of like in the cartoons, like there's this thing called inertia in physics. So I'm kind of, if you want to be very precise, let's see the numbers. It's on frame 73 and the X is 160. So you can get the exact result that I'm, that I'm having here, right? And then from there, I'm going to now have her jump. I go to frame, whoop, she, she's going to jump. And I would say, well, what would it be like? Between this and this, both are correct. I'm going to use frame 100, this one, 115, that is. 115, I'm going to double click on the timeline. I double click, and now this is what happened. With my double click, I created this. Uh, this uh, key keyframe, right? And now I'm going to move forward 10 frames for her jump. So in my keyboard, I'm just going to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? That's frame 125. Then 
I'm just gonna take her and just fly away. Woo. I'm trying to keep the look. You can see that this is the trajectory that I want to keep, right? So if I do this, it's gonna be weird because this is the trajectory and her body is in this position. So that doesn't work. I need the trajectory, which view is beautiful depict beautifully depicted by cartoon animator by this line. So I'm going to try to follow that and just have her jump away like this, right? Now, if I go in between those two keyframes, I'm gonna see if she's following this trajectory. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Awesome. So now she's like this and then zoom, jumps away. To make this feel very organic, I'm just going to right click here, right? Let me zoom in in here just in case, like in this last keyframe, the keyframe on number 125, I'm going to right click transition curve. Uh, okay, that open this window. And I'm going to pick this one, the one that says decelerate because it starts really fast. And then at the end, gravity starts taking over, right? So that's the one that I want. I click on decelerate. Zoom, and that now it feels like a very energetic jump. Zoom, very good. I like it. She's like, zoom. All right. So we have a pretty decent animation now. Let me play it. We have five minutes left. Shoot. And by the way, I would be very stressed <laughs> if this was After Effects because this would have to be a whole seminar of like a couple of weeks <laughs> to do all of this. And we're doing all of this in one single session, guys. This is amazing. Any of you are doing this with me? Like, yeah, I, I, I'm actually getting results. I have a thing that I can show people. Any of you? Just type, type yes, yes. All righty. I'm, uh, I'm also having it. I just type yes, yes. So we have a couple of you typing yes. All righty. Yes, really nice. I'm going to share my screen again. Yep, if Cartoon Animator can do this animation, why would you need After Effects? Oh, I'm gonna go into that. I do use both. I, I use both, just so you know. Facial expressions, we're not gonna cover this here, but there's you can also animate face, facial expressions. And again, it's an investment in money that saves you a lot of time. And that is something that you can use motion capture on your face. You can animate something with your face. It's insane. I love it. Okay, so let me just go back and finish this. We, we don't cover this here, but now I'm going to fix this thing where she goes, she's in here, and then she kind of goes down, and I don't want that. Can, can you see that? She goes down. We can leave it like this. Right now, it's, it's kind of okay, but I do like to increase the quality here. So if I go... Let's fix it step by step. I'm gonna go to frame around there. Not exactly the, the middle. It's going to be frame, if you want my exact same result, go to frame 67. And then I'm gonna pull her up a little bit, right? And it's going to be, what is it? Maybe around, there, I, I'm just focusing on having her feet touching that line. If you want the exact numbers, you can go to minus 30, right? And then I go back a little bit. She still's going down a little bit in here. So let me let me uh, do this. It's on, um, what is it? It would be probably frame, if you want my same result, frame 60, All right? So let me bring her up also and if again i'm in the the workspace i'm focusing on her touching this line it doesn't have to be perfect but if you want my exact result go to minus 20 in in the y-axis let me zoom in in there minus 27 right okay it's not perfect but i'm gonna leave it there if I had uh, like more time, I, I have saved so much time that I can be tweaking this, but for the purposes of this webinar, I'm gonna leave it here. And now I'm gonna tell you why I would still use 
After Effects, right? Because this character right now doesn't belong to the scene. Because look at, there's like the, the light is coming through this direction. And we see that like the sun is probably up here and there's a shadow being projected from this background, right? So I need shadows in there. That's where I use After Effects. But just to finish this, we have one minute. So let me just finish this. I'm going to animate the camera, right? I want to do this animation like woo, the camera moving from one side to the other. So I'm going to activate camera movement to animate it, all right? For that, if I go to the top, let me just zoom out so you can see where. If I go to this top part, I'm going to click to go to the camera thing and then select this, activate camera record mode, right? So right here. In there, you can say it says camera record mode. I click on it. And now this activated, let me disable it. This is my preview camera. This is for working. I can be zooming in and then boom, this is the actual camera of the scene, right? And then I, I go back to working and then boom, this is the camera of how what's gonna be what I can render, right? So what I want to do, if you want to have the camera position exactly as I'm going to have it, do what I'm gonna do, which is, I'm going to zoom in here. Click on where it says, probably, I don't know if you have project shown, I'm gonna hide it just in case you don't have it. You can click on this corner and then show the project, right? And then click on where it says camera and you should be able to see the keyframes for the camera, right? Oops, uh, jumped around a little bit. Now, if I double click in here, let me just zoom out. Right now I'm showing the properties, right? These are the properties of the character, right? Not of the camera, but look, when I double click on the keyframe of the camera, now I'm showing the properties of the camera. And I know is the properties of the camera because of this little icon right here. It says, it's like the shape of a camera, right? So if you want to have the exact position, just make sure that the zoom in is around, around, let's say around there, right? And it's around 1700, right? Around 1700. And then I just place the camera in this corner of, of here, like this corner, not there, right? Because this would get in, this would be shown. I don't want that. Actually, the, this cool feature, I'm gonna press here just so you can preview how this would render. Look, look, <laughs> do you see this is, this sucks. I don't like it. I don't want that. So instead I'm going to put that in this corner, right? Now, let me render that. Look, ah, nice. Actually, I still see something in there. So let me bring this up a little bit more like there, right? And all I do is if you want to take the exact position, this is, these are the coordinates, minus 57, 67, no, 57, 67, and then 1700. Then I'm gonna go to frame, let's end the animation in here, 150. Right now the animation keeps going forever and ever. And I'm going to change the settings right here, clicking these settings, right? I click there and then you can see that there's a total let me just, I'm gonna zoom in in here really quick. I click down here to open the settings and this opens the settings and it says a total of 2000 frames. I'm gonna type 150 in there, right? So just double click 150, enter, that's it. Now for the end of the animation, I'm just gonna press Alt and then move to the other side until this part right? Right there. And that's it. Now I have this scene with camera movement and everything. And then I can export this into After Effects using doing this. Look, there's this. If I go to the top, let me just guide your eyes towards this top position. And in there, it says 
After Effects right there. If I click there, let me, oops, sorry. I click on After Effects, it's going to allow me to export everything, right? Into an After Effects project. Now, why would I do that? I'm going to export it. And this is in Project Files. Click here, Project Files. And then I exported it into this folder that says After Effects, right? You already have it exported. I already did it for you, but I'm gonna do it again just so you can see how fast this process is. After Effects, A, E, enter. And then in here, I'm gonna save it there. This is going to be called Red Jump. There it is. Now, I, I just left all the default, but oh, actually cancel, cancel. I don't want the, the default. Uh, yes, I want to cancel because I want this to be HD, right? That's the only thing. And also the image resolution at 100% the, the export resolution. And I'm leaving everything as is. I'm exporting every single thing. And then I click export. And this is the thing. Replace it. Yes. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm just going to delete this. And just export again. There you go. Place it. Cancel. Export. Ah. Mm, red jump. All right. That's it. Now it's exporting. Uh, there's tutorials on this, but for now I'm gonna leave it here. And then in After Effects, I just did this. Look, I added this shadow, and that creates this illusion of the character being part of the actual scene, all right? <laughs> Veronica, wait, and then a crying emoji. Okay, yes, uh, Veronica, right now, do you want to ask something on the chat? Later, we're going, we're about to go to the Q&A. So Veronica, what's up? Uh, did you struggle in some part? You can type it export on, on the export. Actually, let me show you uh, where you can get detailed instructions. I th if you open this, let's just open After Effects and then click where it says download After Effects script, right? And it's going to open this link where you can open it so you can later import it. I'm not gonna go in there in here because in here you can go to learning resources and boom, you have a couple of videos by our wonderful Kai in here. So he teaches you how to import it, how to do all of it. And he do, does this really cool project. All right, so you are in, in good hands. It's very easy. Again, let me go back, click on where it says After Effects. I'm gonna zoom in where it says After Effects. And then I move to this dialog box and then click on the where it says Download After Effects Script, right? Let me zoom out. And then from there, I just go scroll down, learning resources. So it's three steps. And then you can get this, like th just watch those three videos, right? And then you export it, All right? Yes, and actually that, and that's it. So who here is excited about the new Lamborghini of animation <laughs> to speed up your animation incredibly, right? Peter, you're- yeah, super back. <laughs> hey, Kai! All right, awesome, thank, awesome. Thank you, thank awesome. you for the very flattering uh, comments on my on my uh, tutorial videos. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I I learned to use it thanks to so, uh, uh, Kai here. He's my sensei, sensei Kai. <laughs> we are comrades. <laughs> it's the man himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for that, Mark. Um. Again, Mark is one of our amazing. Uh, trainers for Cartoon Animator uh, 4, and he's going to be, I think you're going to be putting some iClone stuff out there pretty soon, yes, uh, as you mentioned. Yes, we're working on You can kind of promote that a little bit, right? Um, if you're interested in the 3D realm, um, you can go on over to Mark's uh, website. Uh, do you have a separate website for the iClone one? or mm, No, it's going to be still on 2dAnimation101.com. So 2dAnimation101.com. Yeah, feel free to put it in the chat if, uh, because uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people that want to learn more um, from what you just discussed and everything um, and follow up. Uh, and, you know, for people who are interested in 3D as well, 
uh, they, they go over, they cross over quite easily. Yes. Uh, you can actually uh, use 3D animations on your 2D characters. Yes. Cartoon yes, yes, we, yes. we should probably do a webinar about that someday. Yeah, actually, let me, <laughs> let, can, can I just add two more minutes? I, I had this ready for me on my presentation. But go I for it. Go for <laughs> it. Time, time, <laughs> time is of it. the essence. So yeah. really quick, guys, uh, this, like, the question is, yes, like, this is cool, Mark, because we have the animation of, of someone running and then jumping and then, yeah, Mark, but wait a second. What if I need my character to walk and then do a little dance and then uh, get a gun and then start shooting the bad guys? Like, what if I did all of that? Where do I get it? Because this is good, but what I'm looking for, it's not in these motion clips. Okay, again, this is a beautiful thing called motion link which again it's also an investment but what i tell like i tell my students how much is your time worth you're gonna save so much by not sitting down and doing the animation once you have this let me tell you why this is important it's look all of these are actual motions that people with mo people can put in the marketplace right here this it's called the actor core we can go maybe later in, in more in detail in another webinar on this. But look, in here you can you have a ton of motions, right? Like I'm just clicking on all. And this is pretty cool. Like, oh, I can have a, an action scene. And I can click and see this and visualize it in 3D. Like this is what I'm getting, right? And I can take this and bring it into Cartoon Animator with this thing. Right, it's pretty cool. So if any of you is interested, let me just put that uh, below there. And again, all of this is to save myself time. Yeah, Mark, but what if I don't have the characters? Don't worry, because also you can go, if you are in Cartoon Animator, you can go to help and then just go to where it says marketplace. Where it, okay, Cartoon Animator for marketplace or get more content. I'm gonna go to the marketplace mm -hmm. And just look for this, like the, in here, I can get several characters, right? Look, look at that. So it's it's like going to Walmart <laughs> and get, Walmart. get your groceries. You, you, get, <laughs> you go to Walmart to get your groceries. Don't tell me they have, they, they have Walmart in Mexico as well. <laughs> Yes, in, in Mexico, we do have... Oh, they're everywhere, man. Walmart's everywhere. <laughs> and, then, and then if I go to... But instead, I go to the Revolution Marketplace, and I just go shopping to get all the things that I need to for my animation. I can get like, interior furniture. Like, I, I go to Cartoon Animator, right? And then I can go to some... Let's get human actors, right? And look, I can get a ton of characters for my projects. Right? Like I can get Albert Einstein. If I'm a teacher and I'm explaining something about physics, instead of doing a boring presentation, I can have the kids pay really close attention. Oh my God, that's Albert Einstein, right? Einstein. So you can Albert make Einstein, things yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so much fun, right? So yeah, this is pretty cool. And this is like, just if you want to know how much this is in dollars, just remove two zeros. This is $5. And I just saved myself hours creating this character and rigging it everything comes rigged yeah I, th I think mark you made a really great point there um, a, lot, a lot of the people who are interested in cartoon animator these days are you know um they're not even particularly animators themselves they're yeah. either involved in like business they're involved in medical pursuits uh all, all kinds of stuff and they're not you know classically trained in in, in animation so actor core in the marketplace is a great place for them is a great way for them to, you know, just gain assets and basically it's click and drag and, and you can just have your character doing actions in a couple seconds for sure. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. For the <laughs> normal consumer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, well, let's, let's get to the Q&A, guys. Q &A. Um, if you have any questions, um, put your questions in the Q&A uh, panel in, in, the, in the Zoom panel there and uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. We have a few already lined up here. Um, so let me just open that up. Um, first question from Abir Roy Chowdhury. I imagine you're from India. Uh, I'm going to purchase Cartoon Animator 4 Pipeline. Is that, in that case, 
do I need to purchase After Effects separately? Yes, unfortunately, After Effects is an Adobe product. Cartoon Animator 4 is a Reillusion product. So you do need to purchase them separately, yeah. Uh, we don't currently have any partnerships with Adobe where there's any sort of uh, um, discount partnership going on, but uh, yeah, you will have to uh, purchase them separately. Just a reminder, guys, put your questions in the yes. uh, Q and A instead of the chat. Uh, okay, Volta, Volta Brito, why not update hand gestures puppeteering in iClone? Okay, uh, so I, I guess Walter is a guy who's coming over from iClone, and he's he's aware that we have a hand, like a hand gesture uh, um, gizmo, not a gizmo, a widget basically in in, in iClone. Where you can actually just like you know click click the button and it gives you like a hand gesture like ah that's so posture. practical yeah um I, ha I actually have a webinar i did i did on that um last year probably last year august you can look through the archives or of the uh, webinars um but yeah um that, that's a good point walter I, I think that um cartoon animator just just due to the you know we have we, we, we only have so many people working on, on things, you know, we only have so much manpower. Uh, but basically, any, anything you see happening in Car or Icon 8 or Character Creator 4, you're going to see that happen in, in Cartoon Animator 4, or Cartoon, Cartoon Animator 5, coming out later this year, by the way. Um, and so you're, you're going to see most of the features in, uh, from, from, the 3D, from our 3D software transferred over to our 2D software. So if, if you want to like kind of a little sneak peek about what's going to happen to Cartoon Animator in the future, um, check out, check out uh, uh, iClone as well. And then Walter says, why not hit film the same way of AE? Uh, hit film is also an another uh, pipeline we we're working on. Ah. We, we have a pipeline, we have a 3D pipeline with, uh, with hit film uh, from iClone, but Cartoon Animator, we are still working on, on that pipeline right now. Uh, again, it's only version four. Do you, you remember when like fo Photoshop was version four? You, know, like, Oof. you remember that? Like, it, I'm not. I'm sure it's probably like CS, when it was like Creative that. Suite, right? Creative Suite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yes. So I mean, we, there's 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 so many. I I, I started using it before it started being Creative Suite, and I was like, oh, now it's a. Suite. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think Creative Suite was like probably what five years ago, four years ago. Do you remember? I, Ooh, no, it wasn't Something like more. that. I, yeah, but I, I was using like the, the Photoshop, creative like, cloud is the one that when I was in junior high school. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like like I said, anyways, the point was Cartoon Animator is still in version four, and uh, Mark is being an absolute uh, awesome dude, being an evangelist for it. Uh, <laughs> uh, many Thank people. I, I I saw in the comments earlier. There's people here that are even like like in their seventies. Yes, which is absolutely yeah. amazing. That's awesome. You know, Beautiful. like uh, I, I've, <laughs> I remember a couple of years ago, I, I made a, a character for my my grandma. Like uh, I took her face and made a three D character of her. Uh, this is in three D software, but man, it's it's just it's just such an easy way to be creative, and it's it's really cool to see like all 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 these people from like all sorts of different age groups just you know jamming and and, and getting together. Like you said, Mark, like I love the energy. From, from from everyone here man yeah right it's a beautiful group guys you you made my day absolutely um okay let's go to the next one then we have a few more questions uh mark Dan, is there an open source program that can replace after effects um i don't know right hit film now, hit film used to be free um there, there, there is a version of hit film now that is obviously paid um but uh mark i think hit film would be your uh, next closest comparison to After Effects, Mark. Do you have any any suggestions on that end? I honestly, I don't. I do get that question from my students, mm -hmm. and I, I'm like, uh, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I do, like honestly, I, I think I think a lot of us just stick with what we know. Everyone has their own pipeline, um, and I, I, sh I should be able to answer that question with like a, another uh alternative to after effects yeah but my only alternative for myself is is hit film because that's the only one i've used yeah actually uh mark dent i would agree blender is probably the best open source uh thing blender 
definitely. Blender guys. I'm, I'm a huge Blender guy. I've, I've been a huge Blender guy for years and uh, absolutely love it. Uh, free again blender is free yes. open source and now it's and like it's really really powerful the stuff that you can create in blender yeah now it's yeah 3.0 so is powerful. like it's, it's crazy all, all the stuff you can do there um if, if whether you're in, involved in 2d or 3d we we have actually cartoon animated tutorials where i convert uh 2d assets into 3d assets in blender Oh, um, and there's there's a tutorial you can check check that out on our on our learning center or the YouTube channel. But basically, you're taking 2D images and you're, and you're extruding them to create 3D I need to check uh, blocks in, in, in like a city and stuff like that. So, uh, get out of here! <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> let's continue on anyways. But I'm I'm, a, I'm super pro, uh, pro Blender, um, huge Blender fan, anyways. Uh, Joe Fabrizio, I love the name. Joe Fabrizio. Uh, how, <laughs> how did you get Project to appear in the timeline again? Ah, oh, let, uh, I can yeah, share, you might as well share your screen there. It's pretty really, easy. Yeah. really, really fast. And I'm gonna let me zoom in. Yes, this I'm going to hide the project. To get it, you just click on this corner right here, and then I just check Project. Boom, magic. Yep. Now, now it's showing up here, right? Yeah, so the very, very, magic. very top left of the timeline, there's that three three squares, three lines thing. Just click on that yeah. and all your all your troubles will be solved. Solved. Yeah. <laughs> Can I fix my marriage? <laughs> Let's go <laughs> and see if that makes everything. No, oh. All your problems oh. involving cartoon I made are gone. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to solve. We're, we're not going to uh, solve your marriage problems with uh, cartoon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Small you can create a, a, a maybe. Maybe you can. Maybe you can uh, create a beautiful animation to get her heart. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. You can create a beautiful animation to win your 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 significant other's heart, your spouse's heart, whatever. <laughs> Make her laugh. All right. <laughs> Let's go. That was good. Uh, let's go to the next one from Scott Simmons. Uh, how would add some squash and stretch? Ah. Maybe in AE using okay, this displacement vectors in AE. That's one way you can do it. Uh, Mark, do you want to comment on that? Yes, actually, for any of you who said like, we recommend one of the things that I tell everyone is like, don't believe anything that I say. Test it because. My experience is not going to be your experience. It's only after you test it and then, ah, oh, this doesn't work for me, then don't do it. But if it works for you, that's why I love that Revolution gives you a trial, like test Cartoon Animator. If you like it and you purchase it, there's something good coming your way. Oh, I, I, I'm still sharing my screen. Oh, okay. So in here, if you go to, to Revolution, right? And then you go to Cartoon Animator and you buy it. Beginning in, in animation in, in general, in general, um, Mark goes through the, the 12 basics of, of animation, the 12 uh, main concepts you need to understand when you're doing animation. Um, and once you, once you go from there, it's, it's, it's your, your, your basic. But once you go from there, you'll have a very, very solid foundation to create some amazing animations. And I really recommend uh, checking that out. Hey, it's Mark, man. Who, who could ask for a better teacher? Come on. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so Scott, Scott was asking about the squash and stretch, which is like you know um, where things in, in animation will just like mix. Yeah, yeah. They'll just morph and squash and like, stretch. Uh, yeah, like like, like play doh or something. Uh, but Mark, Mark talks about all that in in his uh, uh, twelve principles of animation uh, course there. Uh, okay, we got a few more questions to go through. Hassanain. Uh, has, 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 has uh, has, I'll, I'll has Sharifi. I'll, I'll sh I'll, I'll sh okay. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> it's uh, are, you going to, are you going to show how to add shadow in AE? Uh, you Let, did that, right? I didn't show, but I can tell you, you can just go to the YouTube really quick and then... Uh, you, later, you, I also provide, that's why I provided this file so you can see what happened in here, like the final settings. But you can learn like uh, after effects, 
project shadow on invisible plane. That's what I searched. And this tutorial, I can just give you this tutorial, one minute, 29 seconds. Let me put it there on the chat. Uh, Hassan me. That's in the chat window, guys. Right, so right there, you it, it's one minute of instructions teaching you how, that's what I, I did exactly. I just followed their instructions and you have this so you can tinker with this file and then take it, break it apart. Like, ah, oh, so this is your secret, Mark. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. After, after Effects has been around so long, we have a lot of like really niche kind of like tools that you can yes. use, like, you know, like adding a shadow like you mentioned as well. You, you can do it really easily in Cartoon Animator as well. Um, but we'll save that for another another webinar or another tutorial. There's there's ah. a tutorial that I that I do that. But uh, um, anyways, let's go to the next one here. Uh, Awang Utomo, pretty cool name. Uh, can we edit the face in Red's running motion? For example, blinking just before jumping. Yes. Absolutely. Mark, do you want to? Yes. Quickly, quickly show how to do that. Take it away, buddy. I I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's take it. laughs> okay so let me it. let go me show you my screen it's so cool and uh, it has this feature of course we're not going to appreciate every single thing that i do right but i can have her by the way the, all the see this animation would take a long long time to do if, if i was using something else right let me i just deactivated deactivated this this camera. So I'm working now with, with the working tech camera. And I would struggle so much to take this character and then animate her face. Like, oh, I already did all of that. Now I have to go and erase. No, in here is so easy. There's a couple of controls in this side, right? Right here. And I'm gonna use one that says face puppet. Say what? Yeah, the face puppet. What I can do is look, I'm, I'm gonna just have her in probably in, in here, right? And if I hit preview and then press space, I can start moving her face, right? Now, the, she's right now frozen in time. So what I'm gonna do is gonna be a little bit crazy, but this is just for illustration purposes. I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna click record and then I'm gonna press space and I'm gonna be moving her face. <laughs> and then I blink, ah, right? When I do clicks, she blinks. So yeah, in le this- left, left click is blink, right? Yes, like yeah. left click. So in here I did a left click. So she's blinking like, ah. And look, she, she's running and oh, like I did all of that. How much time did it take? <laughs> He took literally like 10 seconds. I just hit yeah. play and then move my mouse. And it's so cool because in other software, you have to go in and then you have to like, oh, move, keep in here. You just record and then live. Blink, oh. blink, 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 blink. Like maybe you want the character to do, right? So I just blink, 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 <laughs> blink. I'm done. Yeah. So cool. I mean, other software. What, what, what? Yeah, other, oh, sorry, software, ahead, yeah, other software i would have to do the the i used to animate in moho it's pretty cool software but uh it time taking i would have to take the okay these three these th three keyframes and then i take those keyframes and, and then bring it here and then copy paste it no and then back and forth in here just real time right here oh. Yes, I mean, uh, yeah, what, what Mark just showed is, is our real-time tool with, with a like, real-time animation uh, controlled by your mouse. But obviously, Cartoon Animator does have the potential as well to do the you know frame-by-frame -frame editing that you were mentioning before. And if you want to close the eyes for a period of time, and you can do all the, all, all the keyframe stuff as well, you know, yes. using the motion getter. But uh, if, if you're anything like me, I'm, I'm a terrible animator. Uh, <laughs> I like to I like to take shortcuts. Yes, and, and uh, <laughs> I I can see on the chat Awan Hutomo. You asked the question. I did. I, I me too. I did blinking in After Effects before, and it's so time consuming. Yes, exactly. You yeah. can see like it does feel like a Ferrari, isn't it? It's Awan? a click. It's a like click. Just, you, you click. Like, you blink. Oh, it's like 
finally someone did this for us who have <laughs> don't have all the time in the world for something yeah. as simple as blinking and by the way that's for blinking the mm. a cartoon animator also has auto lip sync so you just put the speech and the character speaks and sings you probably yeah. go in and fix a little bit but it's without any extra plugins it's built you, in you, you, you barely need to uh at, le at least in, in icon eight you barely need to and you know it's going to come to cartoon animator soon and so yeah yes oh, <laughs> all right let's go through a few more here uh awang hutomo can we edit? oh that i think that's what we just talked about yeah ah okay, yes that's, that's cool. that yeah. that question uh scott simmons how do i join the beta program uh we don't have a beta program for cartoon animator yet um, but that, that's actually kind of a good question in terms of our beta program, because we do need beta testers, um, but we're very selective about our beta testers. Scott, um, you can email me, kai at relusion.com, or you can probably email our marketing department as well, um, because uh, we're both involved in kind of like curating the, uh, the beta testers. Um, Cartoon Animator 5 is not going to be out until end of this year um so we will be looking probably for beta testers i would say uh end of summer is what i was on what i'm thinking right now um but scott uh email me kai at religion.com or I just type or just, your email in the chat so they can copy it yeah yeah kai, yeah there you go thanks for, thanks thanks buddy teamwork hey. <laughs> um and uh or just marketing at religion.com whatever and uh you know uh i can help you with that scott if if you're if you're legit then we'll, uh, <laughs> yeah it's you. it's just it's just to, so uh it uh, to get away from like to not i'm pretty sure you're a good fellow but there's people out there who want to take advantage right mm -hmm. So that's why it's good that Revolution is selective. So it's yeah, always we, we we want the people who like have experience and and you know are know how to do QA stuff, quality yeah. assurance. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the next question, Kenny. Uh, I was wondering if you could do the shadow and lighting in Icon. Absolutely, Ooh. Kenny. It's it's super so easy, man. So fast, fascinatingly easy. If I was on my desktop, I would show you in 30 seconds, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I can open, uh, let me open uh, something uh, I have for one of like the course. Let me open really. Do you have your course, your icon course published already? No, it's it's on, yeah. on the process, but let me show you yeah. something because the the illumination stuff and all the, the physics like for illuminating a scene is so beautifully done in iClone. Right, so I'm I'm opening a, a project in here, and I kind of want to show you without and with, right? So you can let me get, just make sure that I have everything set up. So, yes, let me just uh, I'm setting it up. So first, okay, so look at this. I'm going to share my screen. There's this scene, right? This place, and there's this oh, character. And yeah, like it's very, all of this is with assets. I didn't model any of that. It's, it's just like cartoon animator. You save a lot of time, right? And then I can have it like that. And if I start adding lights and everything, look at how I change the whole mood of the scene. Now it's more like a film noir, right? And we have the, this character walking, right? Actually, let me put it with, with the, the camera. Let me activate was this camera. Was it? And now it's more dramatic, like oh, like the whole scenery. And all look at the shadow. So yeah, it's you just activate, yeah, project the shadow. And then there's this guy, like, uh, like look just at, to add that add to that, guys. There are the, filters you can add to this scene to make it look 2D. It's like there's like uh tune shading filters as well. Um, yes. to make it look 2d just like you have it you have in blender as well um blender has that pretty similar concept but yeah, yeah. Ama ama amazing course and i i think that uh animation 2 201 check back on the website i'm not sure if we're going to update it we'll probably update it on our social media i think uh instagram or or, or whatever uh we'll update we'll update your course probably right 
do you the for for which one? I mean, when, when you when you release the icon course, we'll probably, ah, yes. we'll yeah, probably yeah. publish it on our on our um, yeah. social media. So yeah, check back on religion social media, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. I don't, yes, I'm not, I'm yes. not my department, but uh, check back. I'm excited that. about that. Uh, yeah. Do you have Do you have any any teasers or any any release date or? Uh, my i i only have a desire i want to launch it on the uh, next month so i already have a, a ton worked already so it's to be released june or july around those dates all right so this and, summer don't go outside just stay inside on the computer <laughs> and follow with, with all the sun like uh <laughs> the, like i i am going just like in here like step detail very slowly so everybody can follow uh, setting up all everything like the scene, like the lights, these settings, this. And if you don't see this dialog box, just go to the preferences and do this. So making sure I'm testing this with, with students. So because I, I can teach it like I do it. Yes. But after I see a student actually trying it, like, where's that button? I don't see it. Oh, OK. Now. And that's how we polish <laughs> our courses. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah, Mark, Mark's a very responsive trainer. So if you guys want to learn the, the details, he's, he's the guy to go to for sure. Uh, okay, Walter Brito, you should have a mixing with Cartoon uh, CA and, and Tune iClone. Uh, I, I think Walter is talking about, yeah, mixing iClone yes. and Cartoon Animator. We're, we're trying. I mean, we have two amazing pieces of software. One is 2D, one is 3D. Um, we are basically, the goal is to kind of almost blend them together in a way yes. in, in the future um just one medium another medium uh, yeah. um yeah I'll, i don't want to talk too much about that right now and i i actually the we have a training actually ongoing training right now where we are actually mixing them where the okay. animation will be done the backgrounds are done in in iclone uh, but the characters are done in in like uh, cartoon animator but the that's on, on uh, animation201.com? Yes, to the animation101.com. Oh, so, so, yeah, to the animation, yeah, okay. It's not public. It's like a, a private class, but later we're going to publish it. We're I'm, right. I'm still testing it with my You're students. teasing people, man. You're teasing <laughs> people. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> go uh, uh, all right. Um, let's go to the next one. Uh, Kia. That's what people always say, Kia. Um, I have Cartoon Mater 4 pipeline version. Why is it so hard on the Religions website to buy a plugin? Oh. A plugin for Cartoon Animator. Um, Such as yeah, time. there has been a lot of uh, back and forth, a lot of suggestions about the um, the website, uh, the purchasing website, web, website specifically, uh, how to, uh, what to buy, and how, how it can get a little bit convoluted. Um, we are working on that. We have listened to some feedback. People say, oh, there's too many plugins. There's too many of this. There's too many of that. Uh, generally, the original concept was just, hey, if you want to add this, just add it. If you want to add this, just add it. You know, um, But we, we, we still don't want to provide the base, the base software to any, anybody who can afford it. Um, but if you want you know, certain features, again, um, that is kind of going by the wayside in the, in the future. Um, we will be, uh, if, if you look at iClone, for example, we've yeah. integrated 3D Exchange into iClone, which is the conversion software. Um, I'm, I'm probably talking Greek to a lot of you right now. But, yeah, but it's, it's uh, like uh, in the past, it was this, and then you had to buy the plugin. Now it comes yeah. as part of the software. Yeah, we're, we're trying to consolidate things as, as, to make it easy as possible because we, we did... Um, this last version, we did have a lot of people who are like, "Oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I need to buy to, to do this," yeah. you know. Um, so that's one thing that we've really worked on, and uh, the the new uh, bundles we offer should be um, make make those things clear. It's not, it's not as complicated as it used to be. Um, but thank you, thank you for the question. Uh, okay, we got one more. I think we got one more, Mark. Peggy, hey, Peggy, last one. That's it's Peggy. the final countdown. <laughs> I know, I know there are many tutorials, but is there a logical order for what to practice and what to learn in, in CA4? Um, well, this is from Peggy Bender. Uh, Peggy, 
I think that to be honest, um, I'll give my thoughts and then how about you give your thoughts after Mark? All right. Um, my thoughts are, I mean, when I learned things like, like 3ds max or Maya or blender, all the, all these, all these programs I learned in 3d, um, I did, I did, um, a little bit in, 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 in college, but I think a lot of it is just practice. It's just, it's just basically sitting down and doing this stuff. Yeah. Put, give, give yourself an image in your head of what you want to create and then find every, Ingredient. I mean, on YouTube, there's, there's, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube. Like basically I, I learned everything from YouTube. Um, after I graduated college, everything I learned is from YouTube, <laughs> you know? Um, but you just like, you know, search for a specific, uh, technique or a tool that you want to use and, and, you, and you'll get there. Um, to me, my, my learning experience has been not really logical, not really rational. It's just been kind of all over the place. And I, I honestly think that's kind of the way it should be. You, you, you should learn things based on the project that you want to, you're, you're, you want to create. Uh, what do you think, Mark? What's, what's, what's your I, thoughts on that? I, uh, I, I, I'm a nerd. Uh, one of the brain rules, uh, I'm a huge, huge nerd. I, I like to read a lot, a lot. There's this book called The 12 Brain Rules. One of the rules is uh, every, every single person is wired differently. So we learn in different ways. That's rule number five. And we learn in different ways. Some people like, to, like in your case, uh, Kai, there's a lot of people like Kai. Like I need to go to a buffet. I go and then... I don't want to go in this or I, I want like I want to start with chicken and then this and then this. These are the ingredients that I want for something that I already <laughs> know what I want. Right. Some others need uh, I'm I'm one of those who need a structure like tell me what's the starting point and what's the end point. Right. And so whatever the style you works for you, if if you're like, I just need like. I don't want to go through the whole thing. Can't you just tell me? And I asked my student, like, what do you want? I want to animate like this and skip these lessons, go to this and this, right? So uh, the Revolution tutorials, right? If I go back to here and then go to tutorials, you were asking like, yeah, in here, what do you want? Okay, I'm struggling with character. Just click on character and if, this is how I learned it. I just started going one by one, right? Like, okay, let, let's try it. But if you want something more structured, like an introduction, if you go to our school, and then let me actually open it as uh, like enrolled out because that's the admin. That's like, and, that's like taking me back through like uh, you know, mem memory, memory lane. <laughs> looking at looking at all those tutorials. Ah, the all tutorials. <laughs> and then you yeah. go to all courses. You can click on the, this free one called Getting Started with Cartoon Animator 4. So if you click there, I show you step by step like an introduction to the whole thing. And after that course, like, like if, if you, right now it's overwhelming, after this course, everything will make sense, right? Like, oh, everything makes so much sense now. Hey, you Mark, would, is that, that, that's still offered for free with the purchase of Cartoon Animator 4, yeah? No, actually, this is free before, like, without purchasing it. Oh, without this purchasing. Is, okay, okay. Yeah. This is getting started. Guys, take right? advantage of that. It's a great course. Yeah, this is the, the 12 principles was going to be sold for $97, but it's free when you buy Cartoon Animator. So there you go. The, this one okay, is... Okay, so you, you, you still do have the uh, offer. Yeah, this, yeah, this okay. is another one. So okay. I would recommend maybe go through the getting started and then go to the 12 principles and then... Just go, oh, yeah, but I still have questions about and then just about pipelines and render or again or motion editing or object and or PSD, like whatever it is, there's the topic. Yeah. Right. And this is actually pretty practical because right now I'm learning iClone and I'm like, oh, I'm struggling with lights. <laughs> Let me go to the lights, lights section, and then I get a bunch of tutorials in there. And then be prepared to hear like, Hey guys, today's tutorial is about blah, 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 blah. That's, that's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably hear it dozens and dozens of times. 
<laughs> so I apologize yeah. if my voice is annoying. I know, I know everyone thinks their own voice is annoying, right? When you're, yeah, but I find you know? your voice very soothing. Oh, well, thank you. You know, like I have, I have a, I have a face for radio. People say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your voice is like really great for um, the hypnosis, probably like. <laughs> you are getting sleepy. Oh, wow. Stan says I've been learning for, from Kai for over 10 years. That's, ah. that's awesome, Stan. I was going to use an expletive there, but that's, that's amazingly awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, okay. Okay. Stan, Stan's commenting on my weight. Um, I, I want to address this because I've, 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 I've encountered this a few times. I did put on some weight over COVID. Um, I'm normally a big swimmer. Uh, I, I love swimming. Oh, um, but but COVID, COVID uh, all the pools closed down. And so I, I got into some bad habits of, of kind of sitting around and I, I did, I did like exercise, but uh, yeah, the swimming was uh, not available. And so that was like, uh, man, yeah, I, I gained, I gained some weight. Let's not discuss this here in a public <laughs> forum. <laughs> All right, like fat and jolly though. Come on. <laughs> All right, th th uh, thanks, thanks, Dan. Uh, thanks for being a, uh, you know a follower of, of our stuff. And and uh, I think um, uh, Mark, do you have any any closing comments? I think we can probably close it up pretty soon. I think that's it, yeah. guys. Thank you so much. It was amazing. I love the energy. Really nice. Yeah, we, we always have amazing people in our webinars. I, I think you guys are amazing participants, very interactive. And uh, I want to I wanna give my thanks. I put my hand this way, it's facing yeah. towards Mark. Is that on your screen too? Yeah, in my screen okay, too. Okay, yeah. Like, hey, awesome. I, I, cool. I kind of feel like I can shake your hand. So right you, got, you got to go the other way though. You got to go this way. Oh, yeah? I, 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 like, I go this way. To, to no, like this? the other way. Yeah, like that. There we go. I, in, my, in my screen, <laughs> I, you are on this side. <laughs> uh, Okay. Uh, anyways, amazing. Thank you so much, Mark. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for attending today. Uh, don't forget to fill the survey. Uh, get your discount for the content store. And uh, we would love to see you in future webinars, whether it be 2D, 3D, uh, whatever is happening in the world. Um, uh, love you guys. Uh, thank you again, Mark. And uh, shall we say adios? Adios. All righty. Adios, everyone. Bye. -bye. Take Have care, guys. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye, guys. Hasta luego.